Hi Sagittarius, welcome, welcome back. This is a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, you might find it resonates more though if this is your Moon or Rising sign. So we have the Ten of Wands in the reverse, um, the Emperor, and we have the Five of Swords. So your person could be saying they feel confined, they feel trapped right now by some kind of responsibility that they have, possibly for some of you. For others of you, this person is very stubborn and their stubbornness is actually, it, I'm hearing the cause of their downfall, which is <laughs> quite dramatic, but um, your person could be saying that they they feel confined by this facade that they have created for themselves, you know, by their own stubbornness here. And it's probably caused arguments between you or some kind of conflict, even if it's um, I'm hearing a silent argument, so, you know, neither of you wants to talk first, that kind of thing. Um, so this person is saying, my own attitude, my own mask, my behaviour is weighing heavily on me. You can see how this guy is in a, in a cube here, and it looks like he's simultaneously holding it up, and also trying to break free. So your person is, is their own worst enemy at this time, and that's something they want you to know. So if you're if you've been feeling like, yes... You are very frustrating and stubborn. Your person's saying, I know, you know, I'm frustrating myself. They could be having some difficulty, um, you know, releasing this guard or defensiveness or a need to control with the emperor. We've got Aries energy here. Okay, what else does this person want to say to my viewers, please? Let's take this one. We have the world in reverse. So they feel there's a cycle that's been playing out between you, maybe repeatedly over and over and over. And this is something they would like to release, as I'm sure you would as well. Your person is also saying, oh, I'm hearing Sagittarius. So maybe that's relevant to you. Your person is also saying this isn't over. I, at least they hope it's not over. It's definitely not over for them. Um... If there's distance between you, they want to cross this distance. They don't want physical distance to be a problem anymore. If there's distance between you because, you know, like I said, neither of you kind of wants to make the first move here. Them because they're stubborn. You because you probably feel the onus is on them to reach out. They're saying, you know, I would love to do this. <laughs> so they're, they're kind of battling their ego at the moment. Okay, what else? Two of Wands in the reverse, another card of distance and travel here. The Two of Wands reversed. So your person's saying, I understand there's a new path available and I'm ready to go. I'm excited to walk this new path. But the Two of Wands is, is kind of a scary card because you're stepping into the unknown. So the unknown here for your person is being more vulnerable and i wanted to say vulnerable but what came to mind is fragile so we can see how your person looks at being open emotionally open um being willing to compromise they might see it as a kind of fragility and it makes them a target for, for being taken advantage of so this may be something they've experienced in the past or it might be something that they've seen happen to other people we have the ace of swords yeah, your person is crystal clear. If they weren't before, they see now how their behaviour has um, impacted your connection and um, and how it's kind of kept things rigid and stuck and kept this cycle on repeat. Oh, OK. We have the two of cups in the reverse. So your person is saying that they feel that you are a soulmate. So this could be soulmate, twin flame. Maybe they don't use either of those labels. Maybe they just understand that this connection is more than physical. It's more than mental, emotional. You know, they can feel you on a soul level. It feels that you're a team here. You're There's a partnership, even if it's not completely manifested in the 3D. The Two of Cups is in reverse. So right now you're not seeing eye to eye again underneath the Five of Swords. There's been some kind of a conflict or it's because your person has pulled back because they're at war with themselves in their own mind. But they can completely see there is so much potential here. OK, what else? Can you give us another card? We have two. We have the Nine of Wands in reverse. They don't want to fight anymore. They don't want to struggle and repeat the same patterns anymore. And the four of swords in the reverse so they're healing from something um possibly the other way of looking at this is that if they have been healing if they have been resting and they've been quiet for some time they're getting ready to take some action okay so let's go in and clarify some of this and get some more information 
And do you notice the only major arcana that we have is the emperor. So that just furthers that message that your person always likes to be in control. You know, they like to be the highest authority. They like to be the one that's most in charge, the one that's saying how things are going but when you encounter a soul connection like this with the two of cups it's equal it's balanced it's 50 50 it's not one person directing it's not like you're um controlling a project you can't control feelings you certainly can't control other people and this is something that this person has struggled with and i think it's probably annoyed you to say the least maybe you were patient for a long time but um there needs to be more flexibility coming from this person Okay, tell us about the Ten of Wands, Two of Wands reversed, please. We've got the King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this person has not been emotionally open because why? Because they feel it makes them fragile. It looks weak. It doesn't. That's just how they have felt. And in fact, to cover up these deep feelings that maybe they weren't even intending to, to feel um, that took them by surprise, they may even have been actually emotionally unavailable, distant, possibly even a bit nasty or manipulative. This past behaviour, if this resonates with your story, this treatment of you um, is weighing very heavily on them. I feel there's a sense of regret for this now. Okay, the Emperor with the Ace of Swords, please. Okay, we have quite a bit here. Let's see, we have the world. See, look, closing out this behaviour. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Five of Wands. So with the Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Wands, there could be a third party energy. The Queen of Pentacles could be a mother, father, spouse, um, uh, someone at work, a colleague, a boss, an employee, something like that, even clients, especially with there being multiple people here. Your person um, might be saying something to do with this third energy. Your person is ending, is wrapping up with the world. The Emperor, they're taking control of this. They're making this happen. And with the um, Ace of Swords, they see clearly that this situation needs to go. You know, that other personal energy. Ace of, <clears throat> excuse me, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So they want to come towards you and offer you something, to have something stable here, you know, to plant a seed and to grow a whole garden. So your person sees you as being incredibly fertile in the sense that if you touch something, it's like you have that, you know, golden touch. You touch it and it grows. You know how to how to create things um, and this person wants to to say okay so here's a seed let's both plant it in the ground let's both tend to it and let's grow um, a connection a life together let's grow opportunities together the wheel is in reverse so spirit might be saying the delay here the hold up here is because your person has two things to do they've got to get over this need to be in control they've got to battle with their ego here um, and the second thing is, for some of you, if there is that third energy, they've got to actually release that in the 3D. Um, so how this is coming through for your person, they're saying, I'm confused. I'm not sure how to to make this offer. But I feel that they, they won't be confused once they've taken the necessary steps. OK, so five of swords, two of cups, please. Oh, wow. Two of cups in the reverse clarified by the two of cups in the reverse so they are really really feeling um the weight of this disconnect or not being on the same page here but similarly they are also really feeling that there is something incredible here that is actually um important enough for them to completely change how they appear how they appear to others how they interact with others and not just you you know um this is helping them to change how they how they interact with and deal with everybody. I think there's a need for them to come a, to become a little bit softer, a little bit more um, open to other people, a bit more understanding. And it's not to say now from this point forward, they've always got to accommodate other people and bend over backwards. But they've at least got to hear other people out and see other people's side of things so they can consider how to move forward rather than saying, nope, it, it's always my way. Yeah, five of pentacles. No wonder they're feeling this. They miss you. The message is they miss you so much and they're willing to make some difficult changes to try and be with you in a very tangible sense with the ace of pentacles. This is saying, shall we date? Shall we move in together? Shall we, you know, wherever you are in your situation, shall we step things up in a committed way? OK, so the world, please, with the nine of wands in reverse and the four of swords in reverse.
Okay, wow, Five of Swords reversed again. They don't want conflict anymore within themselves, between you both. If there's this third personal energy over here, they're tired of petty conflict. They're saying that's some drama that I don't need in my life. Your person is concerned that they have um, made you feel unworthy or unvalued and disrespected as well because they didn't put in enough um, time, work, effort here. So that's the cycle that's been re repeating, perhaps. Um, moving forward, a bit of conflict, misunderstandings, inflexibility, them not putting enough work in, and then you both falling into a disconnect. They don't want to repeat that anymore. What they want is definitely more stability. 1111 can be a twin flame card here. And look, we have the Empress on the back as well. Yeah, this person knows they should have shown up better, they should have treated you better, um, and they're actually hoping to have another opportunity so that they can do things right. Okay, so let's get some lovers oracle messages. So these will either be from your person or spirit. We'll see as we go. So this is the first card. Lots of pink for the heart chakra here. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you, you have shared with those you love. So this person is saying they have love for you. Maybe they're in love with you. Um, and they're also saying they're starting to realise what is important. It's not their money or their safety. <laughs> I mean, of course, safe, safety is important, but it's in their 3D security, you know, their home. They can they can have another home. They can have a home with you. So they're not holding on um, to a life or a situation simply because it brings in money or it's comfortable. You know, they're understanding what's really important is is having those things with someone who they have a soul connection with, and that is you. Okay, so this is a second card, which is, I'm not sure how it's coming up, but it's, it, there's a lot of blue and indigo here. So the, the third eye and throat here. Reflection, give each other some space at the moment, trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So spirit might be saying, um, if you are in some sort of disconnect and there's a bit of space, distance, it's okay. You don't have to feel pressured to fill in the space. You know, you don't have to feel pressured to make something happen here. Everything is kind of okay as it is and, and the space is actually helping. Your person is taking action in the space. Okay, and we have Sacred Union. Honour and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred and this is something with the two of cups coming out twice that your person absolutely believes and knows and feels on the deepest levels here. Okay and we have this card, lots of yellow, so corresponding to the um, solar plexus, the seat of personal power and creation. If you could do anything what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. So, you know, if in this period of reflection you're wanting to create something, spirit's saying absolutely go for it, even if it's, you know, something completely separate to this connection. But remember how I was saying your person sees you as having that special magical touch that you can create and grow anything you turn your attention to. This is what they're asking themselves. They're realising, OK, I know what's important and what's not. And the things I've accumulated, the tangible things are great, but they're actually only the physical manifestations of all of the times I really focused and dedicated my energy towards something. So I can keep doing that. I can keep focusing my energy and manifesting. So they're asking themselves, you know, what do they want to manifest with you? What would you like to manifest with them? What can you both create together through this focused channel direction of energy? Okay, excellent. So let's keep going. So other messages, please. What else does this person want to say to my viewer? What other messages do they have? Okay, so messages, please. Messages from this person to my viewer. Okay, we have on the floor, I got spooked. Wow. Yes, because I feel it came to a point where naturally they would start opening up emotionally to you, you know, higher levels um, of, of emotion or more vulnerability from stepping up from wherever you were. And, and it freaked this person out with that King of Swords, King of Swords. Interesting. Maybe they became completely cold and analytical. The King of Cups in the reverse. I can't handle your words right now. So for some of you, they might wonder or worry and think that you might be a bit cross with them and maybe you are we did get that queen of swords coming out some of you might be fed up absolutely fed up of repeating a particular cycle or maybe you've always been the one being open and vulnerable and you're saying okay i need something back from you now 
yeah look i feel safer in the silence how funny coming out after um i can't handle your words okay we have you are special to me even though i told you otherwise and i also can read this as you are special to me even though i showed you otherwise you know that empress in reverse and when i was shuffling i saw the queen of pen um queen of wands in reverse so they made you at some point feel maybe just completely worthless you know that they, they couldn't be less interested that everybody else was more important than you and that really was not how they felt i feel too much pressure right now so that's probably that other situation they're having to deal with or get rid of with lots of people vying for their attention but it feels petty it feels small you know like an annoyance for them anything else yes okay let's see what that is um i've thought about reaching out to you but then i stopped myself okay so probably because it's not quite the right time because we know they feel pressure they're trying to close something else out they're trying to show up differently and also they're a bit nervous in terms of um in terms of what you might say to them i'm just noticing we have three of these black cards and three of the white cards which is really um a nice balance here so you know we could say your person's finding a good balance of masculine and feminine energy we know the emperor is, is very much about the masculine energy driving forward taking control your person's been afraid of their feminine energy also a nice balance um between you both as well so your connection coming into more stability more harmony we do have this four of wands um card over here okay so let's move on to our channeled messages and then we'll get some of those 3d signifiers for you before we um do the one question one card reading and then move into the extended so i think in today's extended what i'm going to look at is your person's intentions with you what do they really intend to do in this connection how do they want to move things forward between you both okay so some channeled messages please spirit from this person to my viewer we have suspicious and um don't want to hear from you right now so this person could be just suspicious by nature or they could be worried that because they've, they've pushed you away or they withdrew that maybe you know you've got other interests or there's someone sort of sniffing around you you know um but this person i think they tend to just be quite guarded quite suspicious i think it's something they've carried with them throughout life you know that's not directly connected to you and this may have been actually a problem in your connection up until this point you know maybe they they sort of got something in their head misinterpreted misinterpreted it became suspicious self-sabotaged um, or pulled away you know and, and that's frustrating for you and don't want to hear from you right now that sounds harsh but what i'm taking from this is i'm worried what you might say i'm also feeling quite pressured so i do need a bit of space and spirit saying you know this is a good time for space for reflection so if you've been feeling like there's a pressure to reach out but you don't necessarily have anything to say you kind of think your person needs to be the one to reach out to you i would definitely honor those feelings yeah absolutely i'm going to call or message you so this person is saying you know if we don't speak right now there's no need to worry we will be in communication but i feel best right now if i'm the one to reach out to you we, yeah battling my ego and we do know this their ego has kept them in that emperor energy um and they understand why that's been problematic at times i feel that right now um this the energy in this connection is changing rapidly um every single day and even if it's not the connection overall within your person so every single day they're taking ne the necessary steps which is great because we don't have too much major arcana here and the minor arcana can sort of deal with the, the smaller day-to-day -day situations energy feelings that are quite changeable in terms of signs with that empress we also have taurus and libra okay anything else please take this one we can make this work brilliant so your person is feeling um confident they're determined here we have what do you want 
yeah, what, what is it that you want to grow with me? How should we move forward? So it's going to be really interesting to see what their intentions are with you. Um, and we have, how does someone like you even exist? I'm blown away. So with them being suspicious, they may have met you and thought, no, no, this is clearly too good to be true. Something's up here. I'm going to keep my distance. I'm going to watch from afar. Let's see what this is. We're crazy together. So in the best ways, in the in the worst ways, you, you know, you drive each other insane, but you make each other the happy, happiest. Um, yeah, this person does not want to let you go. Okay, so let's get some, some signifiers, some insight as well into what's going on in their 3D reality and also the kind of um, traits, qualities of your person. So not all of these will, will necessarily resonate, but hopefully we'll get some things that really do make sense to you. Okay, so we have owned a home, so your person could um, be a homeowner, or this is something they're working towards. Maybe they want to own a home with you as well, especially if they've discussed this with you. Yeah, and we have financially comfortable. So this seems to be someone, it's important to them to have a good, solid, stable basis. They want to be able to provide for themselves and maybe you as well. Um, you know, this isn't this isn't someone who's going to appear in your life and expect you to take care of them. So someone quite uh, responsible. They might be very good with money as well. Someone who could be quite analytical. They could be good at, you know, keeping their, their um, income and outcome or keeping track of that, keeping sort of um, spreadsheets up to date. And they might have like... Um, you know they might sit down and, and actually work out with their figures how much they're earning how much is going out how much they need to save and and how much you know for this and that budgeting my goodness got there in the end budgeting is the word <laughs> is the word i was looking for Jeez. okay what else we have married so that queen of coins for some of you could be a husband or a wife if it's not this person has marriage in mind with you or an equally um committed situation or you know if, if it's if it's not marriage they're saying that you they look at you and they feel that they want to be with you for the rest of uh, their life we have students so they're learning something they could literally be a student maybe you're a student you know studying something or adding to an existing body of knowledge that they have maybe they feel like a student in within this connection that they're learning all the time about themselves about you we have insomniac so someone here maybe isn't getting as much sleep they might just straight up be an insomniac or this person's up late at night you know maybe regretting some things they've done or that they haven't done the way they've treated you planning for the future as well so yeah this person is active right now even if it doesn't seem like they are they oh my god look look what just flipped over stubborn exactly they are um they are actively taking action and planning things so yeah your person's stubborn we know this they they told us this right at the start um, so we'll just pop that there. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. What else, please? We have mentally and or emotionally unstable. So they're going through something now and they're saying, I'm not feeling as grounded as I have been. And I don't, you know, this is okay because... They are making changes and they were reluctant to make these changes in the past because they knew they would be entering this sort of an energy um, and they're doing it anyway. And this doesn't feel permanent to me. You know, it, it feels more like rather than a serious sort of clinical diagnosable condition. And of course, for some of you, that might be the thing. But mostly what I'm feeling is this instability here is a result of of everything they're they're processing at this time and and it's also linked to this um inability to sleep well so it's more it feels stress related we have peaceful yeah so it won't last long also your person might have on this mask of being very peaceful and that's not true and look that masculine feminine balance that i was talking about earlier as well so they are balancing themselves out they are understanding that there's a need to be receptive to not just always be out there dominating taking control artistic or creative so they might be very creative whether it's in a, a very obvious way you know someone who draws paints writes um that sort of thing um they could be saying they want to create with you as well or it could be someone who really finds the most creative um solutions to to problems 
Okay, what else, please? Oh, secretive. What are they being secretive about? Let's have a look before we go. Tell us about secretive, please. Okay, Spirit's telling me this person has big plans and they're keeping them secret for now. They're not sharing with anyone. Secretive, please give us a card. Oh, death in reverse, Scorpio energy. This person's keeping their inner transformation to themselves, completely to themselves. So that's what I mean about them seeming peaceful, but not actually being peaceful. And when we, you know, with death comes a chance for, for so many new things, new beginnings. And that's where this person is, is thinking about, okay, what should we create together? So yeah, they're keeping their plans, their transformation um, really secret. They don't want to be open about it until it's happened, you know? Okay, so that's everything I have for you today. I hope that was helpful. Like I said, I'm going to clear this away and we'll do the one question, one card. So if you'd like to leave a question, in the comments for Friday's reading, please do. And I will enter you into the um, draw, which is all unbiased. I use a, a program on the computer. Um, and if you are, if your name comes out, we'll do your question. So I'm going to do that in a moment. Then I'll go on to Vimeo to do the extended. So if you're joining me there, great. Um, if not, thank you so much for watching. If you're leaving us here, I hope this was helpful. Um, I will be back tomorrow with the bonus reading. So that will be a career based question. At the moment, it looks like it's going to be your next best steps to manifest your dream job, role or career. OK. OK, so thank you, everyone, for your questions. Today's winner is Phoebe Celo, S-E-L-O, who is asking, is my person coming back or is he unwilling to do the work? So the work needed to to improve, to move forward. So let's see. Spirit, please show us. Is Phoebe's person coming back or is he unwilling to put in the work that needs to take place? Can you show us, please? Is he coming back or is he unwilling to put in the work? Oh, <laughs> the emperor. Are you kidding? So you might have found that the reading we just did really resonated with you. We have the emperor again. So let's see. Tell us more about this emperor. Three of swords. two of coins and the magician in reverse okay so ace of cups in reverse on the back what i will say phoebe is is the reading that we just did that collective message really applies here to this situation your person is fully aware that their need or his need to control um has caused some kind of pain possibly separation some kind of downfall here so i see that he is in pain emotionally also mentally he's really thinking about this a lot asking himself why did it go wrong how did it go wrong what did i do you know that kind of a thing um the magician in reverse this is someone who is kind of unyielding unwilling to be completely authentic i feel right now he's saying he's not ready to open up, to put the work in, and a lot of the work is going to be him unmasking himself, unveiling, you know, showing the, the truth of who he is behind this really tough exterior. He hasn't completely ruled it out though. We have the two of coins. So you see, he's going back and forth. He's asking himself, do I carry on as I am? And I know that that's caused, or at least in part, it's caused this three of swords here. Or do I drop this mask? Do I just calm the hell down? You know, do I just relax into this, go with the ebb and flow, do the work when work needs to happen, take a back seat when that's what's appropriate, take action when I need to, you know, do I go, do I just sort of see where this goes? Do I give up my control and hopefully have a chance here with this ace of cups, you know, can I turn this around and, and have another go here? So he's kind of asking himself right now, does does he have the strength and the confidence to go with this to see how it unfolds to put the work in to admit when he's wrong to step up when he needs to or is he more comfortable right now being this emperor trying to control everything but also causing himself pain at the same time as well as you and not having um, a chance with you which actually is what he wants with this ace of cups because he does feel like you and this connection is a gift so I would say give this time, let this play out. I can't imagine many people would choose pain over an opportunity just because it means a bit of growth. I think that people, I think eventually we make the decision to grow. I think it, it's a process, you know, we have to, we choose what's easier over and over and over and we 
you know we might miss opportunities we might hurt ourselves hurt other people over and over and over until it gets to a point where we just say forget it and something's got to change here so um I feel ultimately, you know, this Ace of Cups, we don't want to miss this. It's too good to miss. So he will come around, I think, give him space for him to, to think and decide, but also for you. Because if he is saying, right now I'm going to be this emperor, I feel like he might continue to unintentionally hurt, unintentionally hurt the both of you. So I feel he will come back around. He definitely hasn't released you. He's really thinking about you a lot, but it, it it's, I guess it's kind of, you know, it's undecided when, when is he going to show up in, in a way that, that he's ready to do the work, you know, to, to, to balance this energy out here. Um, so as much as you can try not to force this because you don't want to, to, to obviously end up hurt. Um, and yeah, you know, do do what's best for you. If you want to hold space, great. If you're saying this is taking too long, keep moving forward and he will catch up with you when he's ready. But I'm seeing he's he's pretty much undecided right now, but he is thinking about it and he is incredibly tempted. But it's not just about will he show up? Will he put in the effort? It's kind of what he's asking himself is, can I change? You know, can I do my healing? Can I release my stubbornness my need for control and these are all really big things so i don't think this is going to be a quick thing just just to give you a heads up um that he's definitely aware of the ways in which um he might need to do things differently with you if this is going to work which is a good thing okay so thank you so much everyone for watching take care and um, if i don't see you in the extended hopefully i'll i will see you again tomorrow bye